Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else... Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Stop it, we gotta get closer. 
it. Stay with them. They'll stop eventually. car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing, fucking car? All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! God! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow, staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk? A good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Yes? I know that voice. You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Ah, oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Whoa, don't hang up. I, oh, I think I love you. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South L.S., so that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. Talent prevails. That's all I'll say. Hey, Frank. Yeah, what did I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> Take me, please. 
places? Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? I mean, is it just the smell of green, or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. Leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her! Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one...